Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader .com. Uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, whirlwind day. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. If you are uh, brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Welcome aboard. Uh, hopefully, you will continue to watch us on a daily basis. Only thing we ask, if you could just be so kind. All it takes is one second. Uh, if you like the content, if it's helping your trading, if you're helping it's my, your mindset, all I ask is drop a like. That's it. Drop a like. Uh, share with your friends, subscribe, and I will try to do my best to uh, handle the rest. So let's talk, right? Uh, last night, we talked about um, the idea that there was a two-sided scenario for the market today. Um, Qs needed to get back above the 480 level that would recapture uh, the five-day moving average. They did that, right? That's not the story. NVIDIA, you know, we talked about yesterday, had a nice run-up ahead of their shareholders meeting. You know, they talked about their AI, their projects, all that good stuff. And I said, hey, you know what? You know, don't get too crazy. You know, again, there might be one of those scenarios that they, you know, sell the stock off into the shareholders meeting. Again, nothing crazy. Nobody, nobody's talking about Armageddon. But again, just like we saw in so many of these shareholder meetings, same thing that happened with Tesla. We'll get to that in a second. You know, there might be a scenario that they sell the stock off a little bit. You know, Went up and down, up and down, up and down. Nothing really, right? You know, pretty much flat on the day. That's not the story. Um, Amazon, right? One of the very few names that finally has joined uh, the parade, right? Finally has joined the bull parade. Uh, we were talking about this really good setup, one of the last beta names to finally wake up. Today, you saw a massive, absolutely massive 190, 195, 200 weeklies coming in. Beautiful move, absolutely beautiful move, and that's not the story either, right? As much as everything was going on today, and there was a lot of really great moves, uh, Meta, we talked about last night, is an inch away from getting above this you know, micro channel. Uh, we talked about Grindr last night, right? Uh, G-R-N-D. We talked about Grindr last night, right, on the video. This is cool, but that's not the big story. Let's talk about Tesla, right? I sat there for months, for months and months and months. Even last night, you could hear by my voice. At some point, I was getting delusional. I said, is this damn thing ever going to come out of a channel? At one point, I felt my voice crack. <laughs> you felt the frustration. Video in, video out. When is this damn thing going to come out of a range? And again, at that, at that point, I didn't care which way this range is going to come. Up or down, up or down. And finally, just like somebody doing the rain dance in the desert, one day it will rain, one day it will rain, a month goes by, one day it will rain, one day it will rain, three months go by, one day it will rain. All of a sudden by month four, you feel a drop in your face, no ditty. And the next thing you know, right, next thing you know, you saw massive, absolutely massive call buying coming in, the 190s, kind of like Amazon. The 190s, the 195s, the 200s, the 205s, the 210s, and finally, the data finally rained and freaking poured today. We'll get to that in a second. But the most important part that kind of what, what's teaching the, the younger generation of traders, and this is something that you should always remember, okay? I try to drop a little bit of gem here and there on the nightly videos. Obviously, we go through everything involved. Uh, in the six-hour webinar, I speak for six hours a day. We cover everything from nut to bolt, from emotional levels to technical things to you know how to deal with prosperity, how to deal with pain, how to deal with everything. Because every single trader has been doing this for a long time, you know, kind of experiences everything before you can really appreciate your journey. But the one thing that I'll, I'll, I'll always share with you guys, just a little bit of a tidbit here and there. And here's my tidbit of the day. Don't prostitute your money, Okay. And what I mean by that is every single day a trader wakes up, and again, it's not your fault because you haven't seen everything yet. You haven't seen 
several bull markets. You haven't seen several bear markets. You haven't seen distribution markets that were enough to kind of show you the difference between uh, A and B. So you kind of don't know. But every single day a trader wakes up and they're looking for the stock that's moving. Every stock moves. Guys, there's not one stock on the planet that doesn't move, but only 1% of those stocks are tradable. And when you're putting on positions, when you're putting yourself in a situation that you're trying to hit that slow, underhanded softball, it's crucial. Okay. And I don't care if you trade pivots with me, uh, if you trade uh, small caps, mid caps, you better have your sweet spot. Your sweet spot doesn't come every single day. It doesn't come three times a day. That's what she said, right? It comes when you, the lines of communication between the, the earth, the gods, technical analysis and everything else in between lines up perfectly and gives you a multi-week slash multi-month range. And when that happens, that's when you take your swings. That's when you take your swings with extreme prejudice. Because if, if you're sitting there every single day and you're trading 19 tickers, I don't know what the hell you're doing, but if you're trading 19 tickers, okay, you'll find your way, right? You'll find your way eventually but it's going to cause you such mental anguish and it's going to burn you out before you really truly meet your, your potential. So every single day, guys, when you wake up, it's not a trading opportunity, okay? The market's open. The jobs of the market is only to facilitate, right? Facilitate buyers and sellers. There's no entitlement for you to be rich, for you to do this, for you to do that. It's for the market to be open. You have to sit there like a statue with birds taking a dunk on your head, patient as hell, for everything to line up. And when it does, like I say, you strike with extreme prejudice because that's what our job is to do. Collect the information, wait for that data, data to confirm, don't anticipate, and when your numbers call, take that big, juicy swing. So let's talk about the day, right? Let's talk about the day. We're going to kind of reverse engineer this thing. We're going to lastly talk about Tesla. Massive trading today. Really, really, really massive day today. You had everything. You literally had everything going, well, almost everything, uh, going nuts today. Uh, Meta yesterday, we talked about Meta, uh, broke out yesterday, 507.80. Today confirmed the 511 area. Uh, July, 540 buyers came in. Very, very aggressive. Meta stopped, went right to 14. Why is 14 important? Because 14 is the high for the last three weeks, right? Double top, well, excuse me double pause, I don't use the word top, but double pause from the June 12 highs. All Meta needs to do now, right? All Meta needs to do is get above these June highs and this thing has a rocket ship into the 520. So nice move on Meta. Again, cool move, right? Uh, Carvana. Carvana broke out yesterday above 15, traded up to 2941. 2941 needs to confirm yesterday's breakout. Beautiful. First of all, congratulations for all you guys who bought the dip. When you guys hear me talk about in nightly videos, the 60-minute support, here was the 60-minute support, right? Here was the 60-minute support. You see you see how many times it held this brown diarrhea-ish line, right? Every time it hit that line, bounce. Every time it hit that line, bounce. Well, it did that the same. So congratulations for all you guys. Uh, beautiful, beautiful move there. Uh, the two, two, uh, 124 70s, it went green, took out the 129.41 and traded all the way up to 3141 before a little bit of profit taking. But big, big move. Congratulations on Carvana. Uh, we talked about, we'll get the Tesla last. We talked about uh, Qs, 480 to the upside, 473 to the downside. Not a big move either way. They did close above the 480. The one thing that could derail tomorrow, and we'll see, is Micron came out with earnings. Uh, not a great quarter, at least not a great quarter of reaction. Uh, stock is down, was down by 5%. It's rallying back now. It's only down 3%. So by the time you guys watch this video, who knows? Maybe it goes green in the day, but uh, Q is getting in a little bit today after the close. But uh, again, if Micron especially goes green, you can have these Qs uh, start rallying back. So, so far, uh, Micron, I know, is down about 55 6%. It's only down 3% right now as, as I'm recording this video. So we'll see what happens later. But again, bulls on the surface did their job. Uh, Oxy, I wasn't even watching Oxy. I couldn't even care less. Uh, Hims, 2350 needs to build. Let me see if Hims did anything. Uh, no, never got above the 2350. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Grind, right? We talked about Grind yesterday, GRND. I'm not sure why I put an extra I in there. 
Uh, earnings this morning, 1080 and 1110 needs to confirm. And we talked about grind last night, grinder, right? So it took out the 10, uh, took out the 1075, 1080 level, uh, confirmed the 1110. That was also the pre-market highs. Uh, grind traded all the way up to uh, 12 and change. Big move, really, really big move on earnings. I uh, here was uh, Nvidia in the morning. One twenty six fifty needs to build. You know, trading up to like twenty eight and change. Nothing crazy. This was the second biggest one. I know a lot of you guys are still long this thing. Amazon one ninety one huge area. That's it. That's the end of message. One ninety one huge area, and Amazon went absolutely bananas. Right, absolutely bananas. Uh, it's been a very, very long time. Uh, Amazon was up about eight and change at one point. It took out the 91, traded all the way up to 95. Uh, guys, tomorrow, if, if MU's earnings are perceived as bad, take advantage of Amazon any weakness, folks. They were coming for the 90, 95, and 200 weeklies. Like, like they were, like they were, it was the last time to buy, uh, buy the calls today. So any weakness tomorrow, take advantage of the, you know, the rising 60 minute support. If you don't know where the rising 60 minutes support, well, that's what the whole purpose of the PS60 webinar is for, right? But Amazon, huge move. But last but not least was your friend, my love, and forever special in my heart. Tesla finally broke out today. It took four months, hundreds of curse words, plenty of sleepless nights, wondering when this damn thing is going to finally wake up. It finally woke up. Uh, 188.80 rejected twice. Like I wrote, it really, 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 really needs to build over that number for the 191.08 next push. Why was not 191.08 important? That was the high, right? That was the high for Tesla in the Elon Musk pay package vote, right? That was the high. So it took out the 89. You see here, it stopped twice at 188.80. 188.80 was the high from 617. 188 was the high from 624. It got above 188.80. It got above 191. And it stopped right at the linear regression line at one uh, at 198. Okay. Here is where Tesla could go absolutely bat crazy. Okay. Again, the same notes as Amazon. Use any weakness. If you get any weakness tomorrow into rising 60 minutes support. Take advantage of that weeklies uh, of that weakness, guys. Only reason it's down like what about a buck after the close is because of Micron's earnings, everything's getting taken down. So if there are weakness tomorrow, if there is weakness tomorrow, use that as an opportunity. Because here's what happens. You see this candle here? This is the April 29th highs. This is the range, right? There's there's no there's no uh room for interpretation. This is the whole range. This is the range that started it all, okay? This is the range, the highest move into earnings uh, for that quarter, this whole thing, right? The whole McGill and Gorilla. All Tesla needs to do is get above this range. And we're like a, literally a few bucks away. If Tesla could get back above this range and close above this range, guys, they were, again, coming for the 90s, the 95s, the 200s, the 205s, and the 210s. Some weeklies, most weeklies, on the 200s and below, some 205s to the weeklies, but we saw some 210s coming in for next week. If Tesla could get above this channel for tomorrow, folks, we could see a next measured move to 207. That would be absolutely wonderful. Uh, just like everybody else, I'm holding a runner from this morning. I would love to see today's highs get confirmed. I would love to see the April highs get con confirmed. I'm probably going to be adding uh, into the April highs, because if that does confirm, there's a legitimate shot, we get to 207. So a lot of stuff, man, a lot of work, a lot of preparations, a, like I said, a lot of curse words, a lot of one day it will rain, one day it will rain. Mazel tov, mazel tov, finally rain. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Have a great trading day tomorrow, and I will see you all again. Take care.